So I'm not I'm not playing this game out of enjoyment. I'm not I'm not I'm not playing playing the zombies battle for neighborville for enjoyment this time. I said yesterday that was gonna be the last time I play out of the year. Uh, until 2020 comes around when there's new challenges and new shit to do. But I'm 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 beyond fucking pissed off and frustrated right now with the customer service from EA. So I don't know. I don't know who else to talk to because I really just want to. I, I I'm waiting for my girlfriend to come back. I'm waiting for Ellie to come back so I can talk to her about it. But I don't have anyone to talk to or vent right now. So I really just want I really just want to get this out of my system because I'm, I'm beyond infuriated by the customer service that EA always gets. EA has by far the worst reputation for customer service or for anything that involves microtransactions. And I, I don't understand how they're a company with their own origin platform or how they have their own EA access on Xbox, but yet they want to put the blame on Xbox when their game their 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 published game that they're in charge of this game has uh, made an error in charging me two extra times a total of three times when I just wanted one pack of stars, one pack of stars. They charged me two extra times. Got an email for that. My bank statements even were taken from that. Um, a couple days ago, it was like four days ago at this point, maybe five. It was on the second, the twenty second. It was a couple days ago before christmas it's the 27th right now of december december uh the 27th but i was trying to explain this last time that um when i went to rux's emporium and i saw that they had this kitty darling z9000 the costume doesn't matter it, the, the point is it cost a thousand of these rainbow stars and the rainbow stars you only get like 40 rainbow stars a week if you're doing the weekly challenges when you do uh, when you go to the challenge menu, where you see where it says weekly challenge, four days remaining, you only get the rainbow stars when you do the very last out of the three bullet points of the weekly challenge. You only get 40 a week. So how the fuck do they want me to get a thousand to afford each new character that comes out every week? You would have to save up a lot, or you can simply spend $10 for the promotion. So you get 1,000 stars for $10 instead of, you know... Uh, getting 40 stars a week legitimately in game without having to spend any type of money that's a long ass fucking grind for for one of the cosmetics not that you need them you don't need them but for the holidays you know if i wanted to get a gingerbread sunflower yeah you had to pay a little money for that which i, I was fine with that first because i genuinely love the game i love playing plants vs zombies and it's a great game and the costume is actually really cool usually i never purchase any in-game shits uh, especially from EA, especially from EA, the only other time that I would buy in-game products, whether it's DLC or cosmetics, would be Borderlands, because they 2K knows how to handle their microtransactions. Even years before, when they had Borderlands One and Borderlands Two, two new characters on top of ten extra levels, on top of uh, three extra maps, was like ten dollars. And you know, at the time uh, when Destiny One came out, um, to get just like two extra levels. Uh, one different gun and no other cosmetics or any type of variation was like an extra $30 Why the fuck would I spend $30 for extra content when I could spend 10 and get two extra characters and all this other shit that Borderlands gives you? That's what makes Borderlands amazing and I always I love Borderlands 2k knows how to do their shit EA doesn't when I just wanted to simply get one of the characters, I didn't mind paying the extra money because I love the game. It genuinely looks like a cool costume. And I'm going to be playing this for a long time. Hopefully, this would be a game I could recommend to my kids one day if I have if I have kids. You know, I can give them all these costumes and they'll have something to play with instead of just the regular default costumes. So, I wanted to get this. The 1,000 stars. 1,000 rainbow stars. Uh, for $9.99 plus the taxes and everything. Um, it's a digital purchase. So... When I tried to buy just one pack, it gave me an error saying could not complete the transaction. And like an, a string of error or whatever that usually happens on the screen. Um, so I just said, fuck it, I won't buy the stupid stars then because it's not available, but I really wanted the skin. And then 10 minutes later, probably when I'm looking at this asshole, uh, at the prize map, I get a notification on my phone that says I was charged uh, three times total. One time uh, that I actually wanted to get charged, and then the two extra times... That I didn't want to get charged, so I lost uh, I lost twenty dollars plus taxes, um, 
to the stupid rainbow stars on the top right of the screen where it says I have a million coins and 2,300 stars. It gave me, it charged me two extra times. So I only wanted the 1,000, but they charged me 20 extra dollars and gave me 2,000, which I did not want. So what I did was that I first contact Microsoft uh, via email because I, I can't trust EA with shit. EA is the worst fucking company to ever talk to about microtransactions. They, they only charge you, but they never give you back your money. That's, that's basically the motto of their company. Yeah, we'll take your money, but, uh, you know, if we accidentally did something on our end, uh, fuck you, we're gonna keep your money. And that's what EA pretty much did. So when I, when I, uh, emailed Microsoft, they said that I reached the maximum amount of returns on digital products, which I guess is only three, because I've only ever returned three digital items, and one of them, um, one of them, or actually two of them were accidental purchases, because I was trying to get a different bundle. And I wanted to exchange those. So I guess, you know, there's a limit on digital returns, which is fine. I didn't know that until this year where I tried to refund uh, the Naruto Shippuden game. Because uh, I didn't see that instead of buying one game for seven ninety nine, uh, you can buy the whole, like, fucking series for just $20. And I was like, oh, shit. Why would I spend eight ninety nine or seven? Sorry, seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine, whatever the fuck it costs, for one game when I can get the whole thing for 20 and all the DLCs with it? And that was, that was my Christmas thing. So I'm still waiting on a refund for that. But they said they're probably not going to do it. So fuck, I just bought, you know, three games. Uh, <laughs> at, at Not full price, but I could have gotten them cheaper if I had gotten the Legacy Edition instead of just each separate. So that was my own fault because I just didn't see it. You had to keep scrolling down in the Microsoft Store. That was different though. Um, but when I tried to contact Microsoft, they said they can't give me the refund for uh, the digital uh, products and bulbs. Or stars in this game so I was like okay that's fine let me ask EA because it's their fucking game and they're the ones that made the error in the game so yes Microsoft handles uh, the, the, the microtransaction currency uh, for payment methods but the game itself was what charged me two extra times so if it was a bug I wanted to talk to EA about it but all I get from EA was attitude what I got from EA when I was trying to ask for help, patiently and kindly ask for help, was some dumb fuck named Eve who keeps on messaging me, who won't who won't give me the manager that I'm trying to ask to talk to, because she's already egging me on and pissing me off. She won't shut her whore mouth. Uh, she gives me this analogy. Okay, Kevin, when you go to a supermarket and buy your favorite snack, and then you go home and check the receipt, and you got noticed you've been charged three extra times, but you only wanted the one pack of snacks, would you go back to the supermarket, or would you go to the factory that makes the snacks? Just call the credit card company? I'm going to, right now. I really just had to bring this up with, uh, with EA, their head department, because she just would not... She keeps talking to me, even though I've already requested, can I speak to someone else? I don't want to hear from your dumb fuck mouth anymore, Eve, if that's your real name on the fucking website, Eve, uh, EA Helper Eve. I want to talk to your manager. She took forever to tell me that the manager was off duty for the holidays, which was fine. I understand the holidays are here, but why did it take you so fucking long to tell me that when I've already asked and requested to speak to the manager multiple times and you just keep on linking me to Microsoft? You keep pushing me to, this is Microsoft's problem. Uh, go deal with it with Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft is the issue, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, why did it take you so long to tell me that? Sure, you've been helping me after you've already egged me on and insulted me. But why didn't you just tell me that to begin with? And it makes no fucking... Right now, I'm just beyond pissed. I'm, I'm just fucking annoyed because this is why I don't want to support any games from EA. This is why I always say, uh, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Planet vs. Zombies, the developers made a great fucking game. But as soon as there's one type of error that robs you of your money... They don't give a fuck about you, even though you're the customer and you've paid for it with your with your money. They don't give a fuck to compensate you were charged two extra times on their end of their servers, on their fucking game that they're the publishers of. And instead they want to give you the, uh, oh, would you go back to the supermarket if you were charged twice or would you go to the company? Like, no fucking shit. I would go to the cashier that charged me twice and explain, hey, uh, you charged me two extra times. Can I at least get two extra of what I purchased as compensation, or can I just get my $20 return back? And this fucking bitch wants to give me attitude and act like, oh, I don't need to be taking this from you, sir. You pissed me on. You've egged me off. 
I'm I'm gonna call the, I'm gonna call my bank right now and tell them if they can fucking cancel that shit because EA <laughs> she she's acting like she did nothing wrong and you're already making the the argument worse when I'm trying to tell you may I speak with the manager may I speak with the supervisor um here did you try talking to Microsoft go talk to Microsoft can I just speak with the manager someone else who can possibly help me and not say the same fucking thing over and over again um. Uh, you can email our support team, but, uh, you know, we can't give you your money back. Yeah, that, I, I know. Can you let me talk to someone else that isn't Eve, that doesn't have your name in your face and all the garbage coming out of your mouth? Can I talk to someone else? And she keeps fucking going. Just, like, I, I fucking, I, I hate EA. They can't cancel it until it goes through, and then you call back and it went through and requested a refund. I've done it. I, that's, that's what I'm trying to, I, I tried being so patient and nice with this Eve person until she keeps pissing me off. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to ask, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand why EA does this all the fucking time. This, like, I want to play the new Star Wars game that I just got for Christmas. That, the, the Last Jedi, or whatever the fuck it's called. This, I want, I got this for Christmas. So I want to play it, but because it's an EA game, now I just don't even want to fucking play it. Even though it probably doesn't have any microtransactions in it. You've had this happen before? I've had this happen before with EA. Which is why I've, I've never wanted to play any of their games ever again. But because I love playing Plants vs. Zombies with you. And I grew up playing Garden Warfare and everything. I was like, are you okay dude? No, I'm not okay. I'm mentally breaking down right now. And I'm trying to, trying to just fucking explain how I, 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 I was charged multiple times from an error in your game. If you can't give me back the refund, that's fine, but I'm trying to let you know that your game possibly has a bug in it that charges people extra multiple times. So if it's not going to happen with just me, it's going to happen with other people. And that's what I was trying to get my point across, was that you may not be able to give me back my money, even though your game fucked up and charged me two extra times, but I'm trying to let you know something has happened with your game. And they just, if she keeps on pushing me to talk to Microsoft, yeah, Microsoft this, Microsoft that, yeah, we don't handle any of that even though it's our game. The error was on their end, and it's like, I've already emailed them. They've already talked to me. Why do you think I'm talking to you? Because I've already talked to Microsoft. But yes, I've had this happen before with other EA games, and it's really fucking annoying that they never want to help out their customers. They just want you to buy their game, get on their origin platform, stupid shit. But when they have an error on their fucking game, they're just like, Yeah, let, I'm gonna let uh, someone else deal with it because, you know, we made the product, but, you know, they uh, the, they handle money and all that. You know, and it she fucking gives me an analogy where it, it, do you go to a store to get your refund or do you go to the company? Like, that's what pissed me off even more was that she was trying to demean... Uh, my knowledge with retail when I work in fucking retail. I know how this shit works You were the sellers of it. You were the cashier I'm trying to let your cashier know you charge me, but not give me attitude with it That's why I use the rewards, but yet I did use the rewards I did the first the first uh, like five dollar purchase coupon that I had was uh, with my rewards the Microsoft rewards the uh, fucking this right here Microsoft rewards and then the rest of it came off my account So I was charged an extra $20 Because of their fucking mistake with the game When I went to the add-on, it wouldn't look like I can't even move my analog stick anymore There we go Fuck it I yeah, it was a split transaction, yeah. I paid the first half with the rewards and then the rest of it with cash because I didn't have that much in the rewards. So that's why I was kind of like, okay, it's worth it. I want the skin. I think it looks cool. I'm not going to pay full fucking, you know, $10 for one skin. That's for goddamn ridiculous. Why would you pay $10 for a skin that pops up every single week? That's, that's fucking stupid. I love the game and I want to keep playing it. And I want to support the developers of the game. Not the publishers, EA. EA can suck a big fat dick. But I want to support the developers. And this is what I get. They charge me two extra times and then they want to say that, Oh yeah, uh, we didn't charge you the two extra times. You know, fuck you. Talk with Microsoft.
that's why that's why I don't like buying microtransactions of anything. That's why I don't like buying shit. I just want the full game and the DLCs. That's why I wait for like even Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat. I can trust that they probably won't fuck me over if I wanted to get cosmetics from Mortal Kombat 11. But I'm gonna wait for Mortal Kombat 11 uh, a year or two later to buy the full game with all the character packs in one thing. So not only do I pay for it in a bundle, but I also get it for an affordable price for me. That's why I do that. You, I, I would play games immediately when they release. Like this, I would have bought the first day it released just because it's made by Respawn. Respawn has made Titanfall. Respawn has made Apex Legends. Very great mobile uh, shooter games. And they made a fucking Jedi game with wall running. That seems awesome. It's like the Force Unleashed from the 360, but on the Xbox One now. And, you know, I didn't want to buy it because I don't care about getting shit on day one if I'm going to be treated like this. You spend the extra money day one, but then when you need help or you're requesting help from the company, they just say, oh yeah, fuck you, talk to someone else. And it's like, well, can... Can you at least acknowledge or, like, know that I'm reporting that uh, there's an error in your game that charged me multiple times? You have Mortal Kombat 11? I'm sure it's great, man. I'm sure it looks great. A lot of people said that it's boring just because you're playing online. I don't play online. I just want Mortal Kombat 11 for the story achievements and then I'm fucking just pretty much done with it. But that's why I also want to wait for the price to reduce. Did it give you all the stars you charged for? Yeah, yeah, it gave me the stars. I, st I have 2,300. I should just have 300. But it gave me the extra $20 in stars, the 2,000 stars. But I don't want those 2,000 stars. I don't want those extra stars. I didn't, I didn't buy that. I just wanted to fucking know. I was going to let it go, too. Like, okay, they charged me 20 extra dollars. Maybe in the future I'll use them since I already have them. Fuck it, you know, whatever. But it was just mainly how they were taking their customer assistance fucking EA help on Twitter, it, it, it just mind boggled me. It, it pissed me off and pushed me even further to just be like, I hate EA. I don't want to deal with EA. I, this is why I don't want to buy any of their shit. Fuck their origin platform. I don't care. I don't understand how they're still a fucking company when they've had such a shit reputation for years. $20 is a lot for that. Like uh, you say later, you will get them another way. Right. I mean, it's just... Ah. Let's scream and play together. <laughs> no, yeah, we can play. We can play. I just, I really just wanted to talk to someone because I can't. I'm just sitting here arguing with EA, not only by email. Well, not yet. They haven't replied to me by email. They're still, ex they're, uh, they said they'll fix it. We cannot reply to you for the status of this report, but we can. Never mind. They can't reply to me for the status of my report. Motherfuckers. All right. Ah, boy. I, I'm just basically sitting here pissed off, like, how are you gonna fucking treat me like this after I've done so much for, you know, being kind, being patient, relaxing? I was gonna let it slide, like, fuck it, $20. That's, that's my, that's my payment for therapy, my payment, that's a quarter of a payment for a parking space in the city. Um, that's pretty much, uh, my lunch, uh, for about maybe like four days at work. And I was gonna, because $20 is a lot to me. I don't make 30000 60000 a year. I make 15000 maybe 10000 a year. I'm a part-timer. I don't have a full-time fucking job. So $20 to me is like $100. That's, that's a lot of money. I was about to let it go, too. I think the game froze. Yeah, they're tired of hearing me bitch, so they, they closed down my game. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Especially for fluffing again. I know, I know. It's just, it's, 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 it, 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 it's just pissing me off. I was gonna stream an hour earlier, but I had gotten in this argument with fucking Eve, dumb bitch, fuck Eve, who doesn't understand that when I'm trying to request something, can you just let me speak to the other fucking person? I, it, it just as long as it's not you, as long as it's, if it's anyone else but you, I just don't want to talk to you. And she just kept on egging it on. And I, I'm just like, you're fucking... Just, just, just let me speak to someone else. I've already talked to Microsoft. They said that I don't qualify for the refund. So that's why I'm asking you guys if there's something you can do. Because it's your fucking game. Getting rid of that email, man. I'm just... Ugh. I just lost 20 extra dollars because of EA. 
You know, if you want to buy all the EA games, go ahead and do so, but this is why I don't support them at all. You've called back and gotten someone else. I would have loved to get someone else to talk to, but this Eve person won't shut the fuck up and just... Ah! I, I was planning to stream uh, whatever the fuck this Untitled Goose game was. Because I seen everyone else play it. Or like somehow it's getting popular. Where is it at? This, Untitled Goose game. I've seen everyone else play it and they were liking it. So I was like, oh, what's that about? I'll look at it. And now I just don't even feel like in the mood to stream it. I feel like in the mood to just complain and take a nap and eat. And then take another nap. I was so excited to play this, but just because it has EA slapped onto it, I just don't want to play it now. I thought you were going to play Minecraft with your girlfriend. I thought I was going to too, but she has a, she's hanging out with her friend. So they're probably, you know, they're probably still busy just hanging out or whatever at the mall or some shit. So, no, I was, I was going to play Minecraft. She said she was going to be busy today. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll play fucking Untitled Goose Game. And then I got into an argument with EA online. And then now I just don't even want to do anything. Now I just want to eat, cry in the shower, because I lost 20 bucks, and then just go to bed and cry. <laughs> oh, man, I just, I just needed to get that out of my system, because I'm sitting here by myself just arguing with that person, and it's like, I need to talk to someone, I need to vent, I need to just vent about the situation, because it's pissing me off even further that no one is helping me. And no one is helping me. I mean, I feel about the untitled goose game, but I'm just saying being the pissy mood because I'm fucking EA. Anything with EA slapped onto the name of it, I just don't want to play anymore. I just don't want to play anymore. Just because I'm, I'm pissed off. It's a single player game. There's probably not going to be microtransactions in this. I'm going to be fair with you. It's, it's still going to be like a fucking amazing game because Respawn made it, not EA publishers, dumb fucks, uh, published it or the publishing company, but. I fucking hate EA. They have the worst track record. I don't know how they're still existing as a company. I don't understand. They have a fucking EA Access. They have an EA Access. I'm not. Gonna, I'm never gonna support EA Access in my entire fucking life. I'd rather die with my balls cut off and shoved up my own ass. I'm never gonna support EA Access. I don't want to support EA Access. I want to support the developers. Respawn. I want to support Respawn. Dice. Uh, the fucking, um, the, the people that made PopCap, Plants vs. Zombies. I don't like... There is no microtransaction in Jedi The Fallen Order? I know, but just because EA's name is slapped onto it, I don't want to support it. You know, it's like, it's like a building that has Trump names, uh, Trump's name on it. You know, Trump Towers or whatever, or affiliated with Trump. I just don't want to go to that building anymore. <laughs> like, oh wow, this is a nice hotel, five stars, it's got everything nice. You know, the company that dealt with this did a really good job. Uh, yeah, but we also work with, uh, with Trump, and, uh, I'm sorry, Trump? You said Donald, like, the President Donald Trump? No, fuck you, I'm going to that poor-ass motel that has one star, and that has rat infections. Fuck you, I'm going over there. It's, it's like that right now, but with EA. I just don't want to play an amazing, fantastic game at the moment, just because EA's name is slapped onto it. That, it, I'm in just that mood. They had removed many of Trump's name, uh, off his condos. Yeah, that, that's... No, that's good. No, that's good. But I'm just really... It's, it's, it's that situation, though, where it's just I'm already I'm already beyond pissed off where I don't even want to associate that company with anything that I want to support. I want to support the developers. I want to support the five-star hotel. But I don't want to support that dumb fuck idiot. You offended me? Fuck your feelings! <laughs> I'm kidding. Are you, are you, do you work with EA? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I fucking, I just, I really just wanted to play, that's Eve, oh my god, yo, Christmas Eve? <laughs> Jesus, god, tap dancing, fucking Christ, I hate, I hate EA, I hate EA. How are you going to be offended after what I just had to go through mentally frustrating? I, wor I work in retail. I know how this shit works already. But I was trying to fucking report that something was wrong with the product that you sold me. Which is your game! Your dad works at EA?
Why? 2019 Electronic Arts Incorporation. We steal your money. You know. Fucking get. I'm just so mad. I just wanted to stream just so I can vent and get that out of my chest. I didn't even want to play a game anymore. I honestly just didn't want to. Ugh. I, I still I still want to play this game, but I, I'm just I just really don't like that it has EA's name on it I really don't I really don't like it. Oh, sorry. I get it. No, you're fine. I'm not mad at you I'm mad at whoever the fuck Eve is on the Twitter I'm trying to ask for help and talk to someone else and she's like, yeah, you got to talk to Microsoft Um, do you when you go to a store do you complain at the company or do you go to the store? Like she's treating me like I'm fucking stupid and that, that's what got me mad, was just the analogy she did. Was just like, excuse me? What? I've asked nicely if I can get some assistance, whether it's an explanation or a redirection, or if I can talk to the, the manager on duty. And she wants to fucking treat me like I'm stupid. Insult me. And then she's like, okay, well, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. But she still keeps on fucking talking to me. And it's like, good, don't talk to me. I want to talk to someone else. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not going to let you talk to anyone else. How do you have a job? I worked so hard. I, I played this game just because I love the game. I bought everything in the fucking prize map. With, with my hard work. With, with grinding the light bulbs or whatever the fuck they're called. I didn't pay for anything. The one time I want to pay for a skin cosmetic to support the developers, I get shit on. They charge me extra money and I can't get it back. Microsoft won't let me get it back. I'm trying to talk to EA. They don't give a fuck. I'm trying to email the head company, but apparently they're on vacation. Which is fine. I understand. It's the holidays. Fine. I get it. Fucking whatever, but... <clears throat> Imagine how long it's going to take to actually get some type of supervisor to talk to you. Just because I, I just want to let them know. I simply just wanted to let them know that I was charged an extra time. Is there anything that you can do about it or any type of compensation? Or can I get my $20 back? That's a lot of money to me. That's not just money that I have swinging out of my dick. You know? I'm not going to the strip club every fucking weekend and spending my money on every girl that I see with tits. I... That's a lot of money to me. That's a lot of money to me. Fuck you, EA. Fuck you. I just... This is why I buy the base games at a super cheap price. Because if I buy it day one that they're released, I'm basically supporting that whole fucking attitude that they're giving me. I'd rather buy it super cheap so that if anything wrong happens... This is the Founder's Edition, by the way. Uh, if EA wants to know, this is the Founders Edition. Um, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. They don't give a rat's ass. They don't give a rat's ass about you. You paid for the game. They don't care. They already got your money. They're not gonna give you back your money. They're not gonna help you. They don't care that you're a customer that's promoted the game or that you've fucking played all the time. You got all the bulbs, and you know you you you've had a bad. <laughs> idea of EA and then the one time that I want to be like okay you know what maybe EA has changed their ways you know I want to get I want to get one of these stars and it still happens it still fucking happens it still happens even after all the years that I've just wanted to ignore and pretend EA doesn't exist and it still happens that I just don't understand ah, fuck Uh, I said I wouldn't play this game. So how's your day going? <laughs> you want to play Cortana? We can play. I don't feel like streaming anymore. I was going to stream, but I'm just I just really don't want to. I was going to play the Untitled Goose game, but I just I need to like just I don't even know if I want to play this game. Maybe I should just play Halo. Halo doesn't go wrong. I mean besides people being better than me at every game mode, um but you know, Halo never m goes wrong for me. 
back in the 360 days, there was a lot of lag and, you know, it, it would get really frustrating, but now there's not as much lag because of my, you know, advancing technology, so. I can actually play it. I still suck. I'm still gonna die, but I'll still play it because they're not ripping me off of my money. Hello. You want to do your mountain steep thing? You gotta invite me to your game. Let's go do the mountain steep. Fucking, I don't even want to play this fucking game right now just because it pissed me off. Jesus, tap dancing. Fucking Christ. Halo's a good game. Honestly, honestly, I... Mm. You gotta invite me to your game if you want to do the mountain steep thing. I'm a close Twitter and ignore Twitter for the rest of the day. I'm just, I just don't want to look at my emails or Twitter right now. I need to relax and not think of dumb fuck Eve. I need to not think about such a stupid fucking employee. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna put this game away. It was funny, just a day ago, just yesterday, I said I was gonna play, uh, Star Wars, um, that new Star Wars game for New Year's because I, I wanted to show my love for the game. And now I'm just gonna not play fucking Star Wars until maybe, like, another month. <laughs> just cause... <laughs> ah. But like, like I said, I mean, or like Mike was saying, it, there's no microtransactions in that game, there's, it's just the game, so I might as well just fucking play it. The game is fun, it's just that only you cares about your money, yeah. The game is awesome. The, the game is fun. It's the developers that make the game great. They develop the game. They built up the game. But just because EA is the publishers, they're like, oh yeah, you gotta make something in the game, even though it's a kid's game, that uh, is gonna generate revenue. Even though this is a kid's game, we need something that'll generate revenue for the company, the, pr uh, the, um, the publishers. Other than that, this game's great. Other than that, this game's awesome. It's one of the reasons why I liked Rocket League. I don't like sport games, and I don't care for Rocket League. But when you just have the main base normal Rocket League game, there's already so many cosmetics that you can win just by playing the game normally. If EA wasn't the publishers of Planet vs. Zombies, these cosmetics, the Santa cosmetic, this fucking ugly-ass wrestling cosmetic, you would have just gotten these just by going to the fucking uh, Rewardatron. You, you, you earn it. You don't need to buy it with real life money. You earn it. It's, it's not the game that's bad. It's the game that fucking overcharged me twice. And then I'm trying to ask for help on it. And then EA is like, yeah, fuck you. We don't care. We have your money already. You don't give a fuck about the customers that have no matter what standard edition, the founder's edition, doesn't matter how long they've played the game. Uh, how many other bugs they've reported. <laughs> the game is fun and cute and stupid. It, it's, it's the, I love the game, but fuck me, I hate EA. They are the worst representatives and the worst company of all time, and I don't understand how they have an EA access or uh, the, their EA origins on, on PC, not Steam, on PC. I don't... It's just because of all the FIFA players. All the FIFA... The, the FIFA is their most popular game just because everyone's paying for the cards or whatever for their characters. It's just a bunch of... Fuck it. I'm just so annoyed. The game is great. The, the game is fun. It's, it's not the game. It's the fucking... The company... Twenty dollars is a lot to me. That's not that's not easy to come. That's not that's not that's not something that's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna spend twenty dollars in a single day, <laughs> unless it's groceries, you know, or a Christmas present. You know, I'm not I'm not constantly thinking. You know, I'm not constantly on Amazon like, oh, this is thirty dollars. Let me buy that. Oh yeah, this is uh, an extra fifteen. Let me buy that. Uh, no, I have fucking bills to pay. I have things to do. I have a stomach to feed. Which, ironically enough, I didn't even eat today. Because I was arguing with Eve. But, um... God damn, I'm just like too annoyed. I'm too annoyed. 
I'm too annoyed. I don't I don't know what else to say other than what I just said. I pretty much vented and got everything out of my system that I wanted to get out of my system. Damn, that was a 35 minute complaint. Holy shit. And I haven't even gotten the emails back about them. Oh, this thing sucks. Oh, you're talking about this goddamn thing? Uh. Honestly, there's just a guide you can look at. I'm just gonna... Do you want me to just look at the guide for you? Here, hold on. Let me, let me look at the guide. Because this, this fucking puzzle, I tried doing normally. And it was honestly the, the worst thing. Here, let me, let me just, let me just get another character. The engineer is not good for this part. Oh boy, I need to play some other game right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you get your diamond gnome or whatever. But then after this, I'm probably just, probably just gonna watch a movie. <laughs> I, I'll help you get your, your stupid thing though. Plants versus zombies battle for Neighborville. Um, what is this called? Deep Woods or something? It doesn't even say. What is this map called? Uh, Woods Diamond Gnome. I don't know what else to call it. Weirding Woods, that's what it's called. Diamond Gnomes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nope, that's a video. I don't want to look at a video. I just want to look at the pictures. Good morning, man. Good morning. <laughs> You're stressed. I'm 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 exhausted. I, I don't know if I'm saying I'm stressed, but I'm exhausted. Mentally exhausted. Oh, fuck me. I don't remember. I don't remember how to do this. It's something about the three diamonds, the one diamond like in each row one of them's active. But I don't know which one it was. I think it was three in the bottom. I don't even remember. I'm ex I'm exhausted. I'm not stressed. I'm exhausted. The stress would be if I had to deal with it the entire day. Um, but I'm I'm just exhausted because of this fucking dumb fuck idiot dumb shit moron. Solve the puzzle. Open on it. Indicate how many lights should be turned on in their corresponding row for the column. Mm. I wish there was just pictures. Like, just show me the picture. Like, how to. I just want the pictures of like how to solve the stupid puzzle. <laughs> That's all I want to know. Just how to solve it. I don't care to figure it out anymore. Just how to solve it. That's all I want. You're gonna hear YouTube in a second. Hold on, give me a second. This puzzle sucks, by the way. J in case anyone's trying to do this legitimately, this puzzle sucks. Like, good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about your fancy ass intro. I'm just trying to skip to see what I gotta shoot. Oh, this guy's giving a tutorial on how to figure it out. I just wanna know the fucking icons, which ones to shoot. Just gotta shoot them all? What? That didn't seem right. Thanks for the sparks, man. I appreciate that. I'm, like I said, I'm probably not going to be on for very long. I just want to look at the stupid puzzle and then help her get this damn thing. Then I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to watch a movie and relax. Oh my god, why is it bringing me to the same article? Um. Yeah, here we go. Weirding Woods Diamond Gnome Puzzle. Answers.ea.com. Fuck your website. I'm not going to click on that. <laughs> Um, there should be- there was a reddit There was a great reddit post that showed all the pictures On how to do this and I don't know Where the fuck it's at 
Oh, do you have to pull the lever to confirm it or something? Hold on. Plants versus zombies. Uh, just a diamond gnome. Nope. I already got the achievement, so, you know, <laughs> I'm not really looking for it anymore. Become one of the dumb and weirding woods. Let's see. No, that was a different mission. Jesus Christ. I thought we were going to Mount Steep. Alright. Let's go to Steep. Alright, go ahead and go to Steep. Yeah, this puzzle fucking sucks. I don't... Oh, hold on, let me see. Maybe this one's better. This is why I like it when there's just pictures. Because when people make YouTube videos, at the very beginning, they're putting their intros. They're just saying, Hey, what's on, guys? Welcome to the channel. If you liked it, make sure to smash like. And it's just a whole fucking five minutes of just what their challenge is about. Like, I don't care. Just show me the answers to the puzzle. Nope, this is just a let's play. It says it's showing you how to do it, but it's just a let's play, so it's not anything important. Wait, what? Oh, is that it? Figured it out. Um, so let's see. I think it's supposed to be like this. Or no, there's two in this row. There's one. There we go. Yeah, so it's saying like there's one somewhere in this column, there's one somewhere in this column. And then you just keep on solving it like that. Did you already leave? Cortana? I figured it out. I remembered how to do it. I didn't want to, but I figured it out. Let me increase the playback speed, because this is annoying. I don't want an explanation, just show me how to do it, man. <laughs> Alright. Will it take me with you? I left. Oh, I don't know. I just I was just doing the the gnome for you. You can come back in. It's cuz I was telling you, you joined my game. I have to join your game. Holy fuck. I don't even remember this giant wall. Yeah, if you're trying to do this normally, you basically have to know there's four lights that have to be turned on in this row. But only one light turned on in this first row. Or a column. So you, you just you pretty much figured out like that, but fuck it, I have Google. You know? I don't need to I wasted so much time trying to figure this out normally. Invite me to your game. Invite me to your game. I can't I can't do it off of my world. I already I already unlocked everything in my world. You have to invite me to your game. I don't know what you said, but okay. How's everyone else's day going besides <laughs> besides mine? And then bring us to wherever you want to go. The steep woods, weirding woods, the uh, fucking... EA headquarters central up the ass. I don't... Whatever you want to go. Mount Steep, there we go. I mean, I feel much more relieved to just talk about it. But in the moment when everything was happening, I was just very frustrated. Because I'm just sitting here, just like, that. I just, I just wanted help. That's all. I just wanted some help. And I was just sitting here getting more and more aggravated instead of getting the assistance I was requesting. It was just beyond infuriating. 
So I'm glad I got to talk about it. Sometimes it's just talking about your bad days that helps you feel better. Because then you just feel more exhausted. You just want to, like, sit down and relax. You just want to, like, take a five-minute breather. And then you want to, like, play games. Alright. So I don't know what she wants to do. She's doing something. Your day is good. I'm glad your day is good. Oh, boy. I hate EA. I'll probably, I'm still, I'll probably still play the fucking game, the Star Wars game. I just needed to relax. And as soon as there's any type of microtransactions or DLCs, I'm just like, nope, fuck it. Not doing it. Nope. Not gonna pay for it. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until it's like a dollar. It's like on sale in the, in the next two years on a Black Friday. This is why I don't purchase things day one. Because even if you do purchase it day one, they don't value... They don't value you any different if you purchased it a year later, or three years later. They're just... They don't give a fuck to help you. And even, like, right now, I'm still trying to report it to the supervisor. What's the supervisor gonna do, besides tell me the same thing? I mean, most companies, when, um, the cashier or one of their employees or associates does something wrong, they're going to stay by the cashier or their associate because they work in the same place. Which is understandable because they work in the same place. But it's also like, who else do you complain to if when you complain to EA, they don't care? Right? Like, who? you can't, there's no like, in it, please. Your day is going good too? I'm glad your day is going well. Like, there's no internet police that you can just be like, yeah, uh, EA is kind of like a shit company. Do I talk to you about it? No, you would report that to EA. But EA is the company that I'm trying to r r report. Who Who's above EA? No one, just EA. Microsoft? Do I talk to Microsoft? Nope. D d fucking, uh, d d anyone? Is God? Nope, can't report to God either. Leave a prayer, but, you know, most likely he just won't answer it because you got to do things yourself. I am trying to do things myself. Who do I report it to? Figure it out. <laughs> like, what What great help. It's, 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 it's just, it's just that. All right, so what are we doing? Where are we going? What, what's the mission? Because I've completed everything, so my entire map is 100% done. I've gotten all the chests, gnomes, fondue pots, so I don't, I don't know where to go or what to do. I'm just playing it because she wanted some help with something. I should just go get ice cream. Ice cream makes everything better. You know. You have a broken foot? Get some ice cream. You had an argument with EA for like the past hour and a half? Get some ice cream. You know, your ex-wife left you for someone more handsome in Las Vegas? Get some ice cream. <laughs> She's never coming back. Sorry, what happened? What were we talking about again? You were just fucked up the ass by a gaming company? Just get some ice cream. You know, maybe rub a little lotion there, but you know, get some ice cream. I, I just, I want to support the the developers of the game, not the, not the fucking publishers, but there's no, like, distinct line with how to separate. I want to, you know, support these other people, not you. I want to support the good people, not you. Like, I just, I, I need a, there needs to be a clear-cutted line with, like, if I'm purchasing any type of in-game currency, it's not going to go for EA just because there's a public. I need, I need to, I need to do something else that's going to be like, um, you know, here you go, DICE, you made an awesome Star Wars Battlefront 2, you know. Uh, I want to support your game, 
I don't want to support your publishers. You can be better than the publishers. Your, your game is great and it's fun. But fuck EA! There needs to be like a clear, like a different line, but that's why they're the publishers. You know, because they handle everything. Also, I don't know where you went, Cortana. I, I completely lost you. I'm busy complaining and just getting ahead. Grab some Kit Kat. That's good. I like Kit Kats. Kit Kats are good. Oh, there you are. How the flibbity flim flam did you get over there? Where am I at? All right, whatever. Are you still in the chat? Because I don't, I don't know what we're doing. I just want, I just, I'm just trying to help you do your missions or whatever. But I, I can't see what missions I need to do because I already beaten everything. I got all the achievements in this game besides ranking up all my characters to uh, master level. Um, yeah, foot soldier. I, I'm literally right there. 20 vanquishes, that's just challenging. You can do that easily. I mean, I haven't really focused on it. This one's the one that's going to take forever. Neither harmonica and the hat. Okay. You got to lead the way because I beat everything, so I don't know where to go. Um, the harmonica and the hat. Harmonica. There's one, like, directly behind us. Oh, this? I mean, I can play it, because I have it. I have the harmonica right here. Let me see. Let me open this door for you if it's not already open. Or if it'll let me open it. It's probably already open for me. No, it's closed. Okay, let me see. Um, oh, why? Gotta hit the Y button. See, like, the game's cute. It's silly. Like, it, it's it's very colorful. I, I like the noises they make. Ah, uh, this is another diamond gnome. Fuck me. This one takes a while, too. There's a beam of light that spawns right here that you gotta hit into those uh, four different little like pillars never mind <laughs> I mean I'll, I'll do this one for you too if you don't have it already but I mean it's not it's not difficult it just takes a while so like that one's that one's fine that one's a decently okay puzzle don't know what the fuck happened there I just teleported straight down to hell All right. <laughs> I don't know what he did. He didn't give me like a mission or anything, so. Sheriff badges? Oh, I completed something. Hey, I got more coins. Look at that. Hopefully he didn't charge me $20 for the 25,000 coins that it just gave me. Fucking assholes. I was rewarded for something, I don't know what it was. Now down here is a diamond gnome. Uh, if you want to do the missions, I think it's on this side. I don't know where they're at. I don't, I, like I said, I completed everything. My map is 100% done. I have the well and the harmonicas, but those just tell you what you can interact with. Um, the gnome shrine, the boss gate, I... It's all done, so I don't know where to go. <laughs> I wish you can look at your host's map. Because she's the host of the game. She has the incompleted items that she needs to do. But I can't see her map. I'm seeing my own map. Of what I completed. So she would have to figure out where to go and tell me where to go. Because I, I already done everything. I'm just following her. But yeah, if you ever want to play Plants vs. Zombies or Star Wars, they're great games. But if you ever plan on purchasing microtransactions, just know that they might overcharge you. 
or that it's completely stupid and useless, you might as well just earn it in-game normally. It's gonna take you probably like three months legitimately to get one costume instead of spending $10 a week to get that costume. So, you know, do you want to make 40 stars normally each week? Or do you want to make 1,000 stars every week but just for $10? You know, that's, that's why I don't play a lot of games that have those microtransactions, because they make it so goddamn ridiculous. With, if you want to get a cosmetic or anything cool, you can't earn it. You can, but it'll take you, like, 70 times longer compared to just spending 10 simple, measly dollars. But that's how they make their millions of money, because if, if, like, one person at a time is spending $10, you know, 10 people spending $10... You know what I mean? It's already a hundred fucking bucks. And then if they're doing that, you know, a thousand people spending ten dollars, they're making ten thousand dollars. You know, that's how they get all their money. It's a, it's a little bit of money per person, but there's like, there's millions of people on fucking planet, country, etc. China has like, what, 3.5 billion just on their own country? Or India? I don't even know. There's so many people, but if, if each of them are just spending $5, $10 at a time, that's how they make their millions. They make money with microtransactions, not with just hard work. And that's why I just get, that's why I just give up with a lot of the EA access, or the EA game, or fucking Destiny. Gears 5, they also added Iron, which is just another microtransaction method. That's why I don't like it. Like, I want to support the game if the game's great, but I don't want to have to buy cosmetics just to get ripped off of one single skin that's $10 a character. Like... Like, I understand that the, like, the designers, they work hard to design the character models and everything. Like, that's fine. I want to support them. That's great. They make great character skins. But I'm not going to spend three months to get 40 stars a week. Or however long it takes to get a thousand stars total. When the game's just going to be like, yeah, you know, you can just spend ten bucks, you know. It's just, it's just ten dollars. What's ten dollars? That's nothing. Ten dollars is a lot. When you're not making a lot of money, ten dollars is a lot. If you're a millionaire, sure, spend ten dollars. That ten dollars. If you're a millionaire, ten dollars is a fucking quarter. It's probably a penny to you. You don't give a fuck about ten dollars. But, you know, when, when you don't even make a, a full a, a full time amount of payment, you know, if you're not making um, over sixty thousand dollars a year for you know living, uh, paying um, bills, you know, insurance for your car, ten dollars is a lot. Ten dollars that's that that's a lot. Twenty dollars that's a lot. Like I said, that's four days worth of lunch. You know, to them it's like printing their own money. Yeah, that's why. That's why I don't buy Fortnite. They have their microtransactions for their cosmetics. Sure, they got Fortnite. I will say Fortnite. I fucking hate Fortnite, but their cosmetics, their character models are really, really good. They have Borderlands and Star Wars. They made the Avengers Thanos. I mean, the cosmetics are really fucking cool. They're really well made, and it's a cute looking game. But I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna spend my money on it. That's for goddamn ridiculous. Ten dollars for one skin? No! What? No! Can I earn it legitimately? Yeah, but it'll take you about, you know, three weeks. A lot of saving up in those currencies. And you can only have one or the other. You can't have both of them. You can either have the Borderlands character or Thanos. You can't have both of them. I don't know how their store works. But, you know, you're, you're, you're putting a lot of work in-game hours. What's more valuable is my time. What's more valuable is my time. You know, everyone's gonna die. We're all on this earth for a certain number of, 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 of hours. You know, I could possibly have a testicular cancer the next morning that I wake up. You know, random shit could happen. And, uh, you know, it's like... Your time is valuable, but do you just want to give us $10? Or do you just want to work hard for three months and get one prize item instead of the five that we're offering each week?
developers on the other hand are pretty cool to them it's like printing their own yeah no the developers are great dice respawn popcap the people that make the games are awesome it's just the publishers that pissed me off because it's annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of loot boxes. I'm sick of card packs that you gotta buy. I'm sick of those things. I just I just want to get the game, earn stuff, and then if I want to support the developers, yeah, you know, if they want like a, like a PayPal donation, I'll donate to them. I have no problem with that. But if they're gonna be ripping you off of money just so you can get a $10 character, like, that's just... Like, why? I can live without the character. It's just so it's just unnecessary because then they'll overcharge you and then they won't they won't do anything They won't value your money as if you're like You know no matter your, your stature Like I said if you're a millionaire ten dollars is a quarter for you But you know if you're living in the ghettos or you can't afford much ten dollars is a fucking hundred dollars to you You got to spend that shit carefully. You got to like budget out each dollar and quarter you know, an extra 15 cents if, if you're paying um, in total with taxes and everything. Uh, an item that's like 495 Instead of breaking an extra dollar uh, for increasing that tax to 627 or something, you know, you want to get rid of those taxes as much as you can. That's an extra, that's an extra like, you know, 30 cent, but that breaks up an extra dollar. You know, you're going to get a lot more change in quarters and pennies instead of just keeping that extra dollar. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm over here working hard for my money. I'm not, I'm not poor in a rich ass family, you know, where some kid could be like, "Mommy, I want to get Fortnite V Bucks. Give me Fortnite V Bucks. It's only five dollars, Mommy and Daddy. That's not hard to make." It's not hard to make, but it takes a fucking long ass time to make it. You know, we're not millionaires, son. We can't. You know, spend five, ten dollars on every single thing that we see, because then that don't add up. There's taxes too, that don't add up. Like when I was going Christmas shopping, I was only getting a couple things for my little brother, my family, my uh, my 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 big brother, my mom, a couple of my uh, aunts and grandmas. You know, and each thing was like five, seven dollars a piece. It just it, it was cheap, but it was cute, and I think it's gonna last long. You know. Um. Yeah, it's not the money that, that 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 you spend. It's the thought that counts. So I was just getting them like little things that would be useful, something cute, you know, like like kitchen uses or like gloves or pa pajama pants. And uh, you know, I only I only bought a couple things that are like seven dollars, five dollars a piece. All of a sudden, my bill at the very end with taxes was over one hundred and thirty dollars. And I'm just like, what the fuck? What did I just buy? What did I just get? You know, so when you're doing that with microtransactions, or when you're renting DVDs on Xbox, you know, do you want to spend $224 over a 60-year period renting a movie for $644 or $698? Or do you just want to buy the movie for $1098 and keep it forever and you can watch it whenever the fuck you want? An extra $4 to keep it for the rest of your life instead of renting it every time you want to rent it for $699, you know, for the next 60 whatever years until you die? That's gonna reach you to two hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of fucking money for renting something. You know, the the littlest bits of money add up quick. You know, if you're a millionaire, you don't care. There is a kid watching. I'm sure there's a lot of kids watching, even though the stream says 18 plus stream. I can't control that. I've tried to so many times to make sure there's no kids in my chat. And I, I can't do anything. I, I really can't. I, I really, I, I tried putting it as 18 plus only, you know, um, viewer discretion is advised. You know, PG-13 parental guidance, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Because even though there's a big fat warning that says for mature audiences only, there's still people clicking okay, and that's their consensual, you know, agreement to, this guy curses, but you said okay, so you can still watch it. So yeah, I know there's possibly kids watching right now. I don't condone, I don't promote cursing, even though obviously I'm cursing because I'm frustrated, but you know, I don't, you know, I don't want to promote it like everyone should just say fuck, titties, balls, coward, that's not bad, coward's not a bad word, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm not promoting it, but that's just my personality, I just don't want kids around it. 
but I can't stop kids from ever coming in into my chat. Please say my name. Winning Chief. Winning Chief. Chief Chef Chief. Chief Chef Chief Chef Chief. You're welcome. My name is Barack Obama. This has been a PSA about money and healthcare and politics. <laughs> I don't know where I went with that. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, but just, just I, I know there's kids in the chat. I, I can't do anything about that. I can't ban every single one of them as much as I want to. I can't say, you know, you're not allowed in here. No, the hat. No, get the hat. I'm actually kind of sad you can't win that hat as a cosmetic. It, that would be a really cool universal hat. I understand. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I can't, can't do anything. Oh, I think this is the final boss. Oops. I'm trying to get to the end. I don't remember exactly how to do this. You just have to get to the end or something. I was focusing on talking, now I have to focus on not dying with cheese. There we go. You're welcome! I did it for you. Thank you for the sparks, I appreciate that, my dude. Oh, that was it? Oh, I thought that was the final boss of it. I'm getting a lot of prize bulbs. Hey, look at that, max level reach. I can upgrade my character now to master. Let me switch my character so I don't waste experience if I'm gonna be playing. I didn't want to, but you know, she wants to play to get her stuff, so. It's whatever. Yeah, but if, you, if you're a kid watching this and you ignored the 18 plus stream rule, just know that I'm not trying to promote cursing. I'm not trying to promote arguing with customer service because at the end of the day, they're human beings too. They're just doing their job. But if someone's being a fucking idiot and you're asking politely, can I just speak with someone else? And they're trying to give you an analogy about, you know, where you spend your money. It does get frustrating, a little frustrating. When, 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 when someone's giving you attitude, it does get frustrating. D. James, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Say my name. Jamook, Mr. Jamik, Mr. Jamaican, Mr. I like bacon, uh, Mr. Tatooine. I said your name probably like, you know, once correctly in that whole thing. What's up, D. James? How you doing? I went here on a rant, I went here on a rant complaining about, uh, EA. And somehow I'm getting, <laughs> getting, uh, getting, what, views? All the cool stuff that they care about. I'm getting views and likes. Smash that mofo like button. Winning Sheaf, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Box Kingdom. Lustrous Sheaf. Stealing his identity and his name. Thank you also for the follow. Welcome to the Box Kingdom. I appreciate that, my dude. But like I said, it's a mature channel. If you're if you're under or if you're just 13 or under 18, be advised. I curse a lot. But I don't promote it. Don't also do what I do. Don't take me as like a... As like an idol. Just, you know. I'm trying to also watch my own mouth. I had this game, but it's downloading for an update. It's a good game. Just like what I was saying earlier. I, I hate EA. The publishers. The developers of this game are great. It's just the publishers are fucking stupid. But the game's fun. It, it's really cute. There's a lot of things you can do in there. Um, cosmetics you can get for free. Uh, even though I'm trying to just worry about achievements at the moment. Can you say my name? What is, what is this? Say my name, say my name, say my name? What? What? Say my name, say my name. This is the Beyonce cover song? Pro Lil Aaron. The next person that asks me to say their name better pay me $20. So I can buy more character skins. <laughs> Oh, 
kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. <laughs> If anyone needs help with their story mode stuff, let me know. I'll help. I don't mind helping. As long as I just don't gotta pay $20 for a character fucking skin pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast, I don't care. You're a badoy. Hope everyone else's day is going better. Alright, next person to say, can you say my name? I'm waiting for embers. You will have to pay me $20 worth of embers if you want me to say your name. Thank you, Aaron, for sparks. Oh, there goes the map. Rip. Crap you. Mr. Jamook. Why? Mr. Jamu. What the hell is crap you? What? I never heard that before. How old are you? Crap you? I was gonna play this game when I saw this. I, I mean, the game's worth it. Just don't spend. Just don't spend real life money for any of the cosmetics. That's all I'm gonna say. Real life money, don't spend it. Once you already bought the base game, just play the normal game. Don't spend anything else for cosmetics, DLCs, whatever. Your money is valuable. Your money is hard to make. Unless you're still like, you know, 10 and your grandma's giving you the money. Then you know what? Fine. I, I would save it, but. You're eight? Jamook? What? You know it's illegal to be making an account when you're under 13 of age? I'm gonna report you to the FBI. I'm gonna report you to your local counselor. And I'm gonna report you to Ronald fucking McDonald. You will never get a Happy Meal ever again, Mr. Jamook. Eight-year-old sack of shit. Oop, that's a bomb. Calling the police. Exactly. You tell him, Mike. You tell him. You tell your mommy on you that you're online. Unless your parents are actually, you know, they don't care if you're eight and you have an account. But uh, but just know that it is it, it is illegal to have an account when under the parents supervision when you're under 13 Just know so even if you are eight years old You're an idiot. Just want to let you know you want to be part of the cool kids. You gotta follow the rules, man Follow them rules That's what makes you a cool kid. That's what makes you popular in school Unless you don't care about school then that's what makes you popular in my channel You're a cool kid if you're a good person if you're an idiot. I don't like you I'm also saying don't, like, don't overvalue money, uh, D. James. I'm not also saying, like, you know, that value is everything in the world. I mean, it, it, it's not, not everything is about money. Like, at first, when I was, so when I was complaining at first, yes, they overcharged me. I wanted to talk to someone either from Microsoft or EA, and I just wanted to see if I can resolute this. Either, you know, they can keep my $20 you know, fuck it, I give up at this point. Or I can get my refund for my $20 and they take back their 2,000 um, uh, rainbow stars that I purchased. I just wanted some type of simple resolution. But what got me mad was the customer service and the, um, the stupid Eve woman. That's what got me upset. It, it wasn't, it, the $20, like I said, I mean, it's a lot of money to me because I don't make a lot of money. But I was about to let it go. I was just like, fuck it, they can keep it. Maybe I'll use the the other the rest of the stars for something else in the future. Um 
but it was just it was just the customer service that was, was really just made me mad. It was just really annoying. Like so, no one can help me. You're just gonna put the blame on each other, and you know, just tell me. You know, the game had made an error. It took your money, and uh, because the game made the error, we'll compensate you for that. Because you shouldn't be losing your money like that. It should you should be losing your money if you're the one spending your money willingly. No, money won't buy you everything. But money does buy you the buy you the essentials that you need to survive on this planet. A house and food. You know? The game is 3388. Um I got the founder's edition, so it was 25. Or 2498. But yeah, the game now is a little pricey. It, it went to the full actual price of the normal game. Just because the Founder's Edition was like an early access type of beta. Um, into the game to see, like, you report on the bugs, you report on what's happening with the game. Um, you know, if, if something's good, if the online matches are a little laggy, unstable, they'll fix it. So, you know, the Founder's Edition, you, you know, you know, when you buy the Founder's Edition, which I did... You know that it's going to be laggy. It, there's something's going to be wrong with the game. That's why you don't purchase anything at that time period. You just play the game and you report, okay, there's a bug. You can clip through this wall just by standing on it and teabagging it. Or, hey, when I get to, or, hey, uh, EA, when I get to this mine, the game crashes. You know, those are something you just report to them when you're getting the founders of this but, you know, it, now they raise the price because it's the normal game. It's, right now, it's the full, normal, everything's fine type of game. Or at least everything was fine until they took my money. So, I mean, there's different things to look out for. I like the cactus that it can fly. It's really nice. Yeah, right now it costs 40 or 33, whatever you want to price it as right now. I don't know exactly what it costs, but it's definitely not $25. When you get it on sale, I think $25 for the game itself is a great price. That I'll give a thumbs up for. It's a great price for the game itself. $25. But just don't buy microtransactions. Don't, don't buy skins. Don't buy... Extra funny looking pickaxes in Fortnite, don't don't do any of that. It's just a waste of money. It's not gonna it's not gonna last you. What's it gonna it's oops. it's I don't know. Do what you want, but my money, I care about my money. I I would have spent it willingly, which would have been my choice if the game didn't charge me two more times. And I gotten two more emails that have said, yeah, you purchased this one item three times total. Like, uh-uh, no. I paid for it one time total. Motherfucker. Your birthday's in three days. Well, happy early birthday. Hopefully it's a good one. And uh, enjoy the new year. Hooray, you're one year closer to dying. Yeah. I mean, happy birthday. Yeah. That's a very bad way to look at it, I know. But, I mean, it's not, it's not wrong. I wish I wasn't put on this earth. <laughs> this forsaken planet. Holy Jesus. I rather had just stayed as like... Just a, a, an empty piece of nothing in space and time. Just never existing. That would have been nice. Still just floating around. The V-Bucks just take your money. Any type of microtransactions in any game take your money. Any game. Unless it's gonna last you a very long time, but any game takes your, uh, any microtransactions takes your money. I'm inside of this rock. Nice man, I hope it's a good birthday for you. No, I said I wasn't even gonna play, and here I am playing this fucking game. Uh. But like I said, I, I feel better now. I kind of just don't want to keep complaining because it's not going to get me anywhere, especially when my money is already taken. They don't want to help me any further. At this point, I'm just the one and only person that's like never going to support another EA product. But that doesn't mean that there's hundreds of other people that will still support it because they haven't had that experience that I had. 
So at the end of the day, this, at the end of the day, this means nothing because they're still making money. You know, my frustrations are absolutely pointless. If you shoot him in the forehead, um, it's a critical hit until he activates that signal bot. Like I said, if I just keep on complaining, it's not going to get me anywhere, so I'm trying to, like, think of something else and, like, not complain about it, or, like... Like, now that you said there's kids in here, like, I already knew that, but now it's making me more self-conscious to, like, not... Like, cuss. Because, I mean... It's, it's not like they're not going to hear cuss words, or they're going to know what, you know, a curse word is. I mean, they're going to hear it everywhere, but I just don't want to be promoting it to young people. Even though, obviously, I curse because I get frustrated. It's a bad habit. It's like biting your nails. You know, you, see, you ever see people bite their nails to where it's just like a tiny little nub of nail on their finger? It also says 18 plus strength. Yeah, but you know, they never read it. They'll still say okay. Like, they understand it's for mature audiences only. And they'll still click on it. So I can't really stop them. But I also know that they're definitely in the chat. You know, because when I was a kid and I made, you know, my Facebook account, you, you weren't old enough. You weren't old enough. You lied about your age. You know, you're on Twitter back when it was first starting off, and Pornhub was there, and it would just show you uh, the nude, the nude pictures. They didn't have a filter that says, uh, "Not safe for work." What you're about to see is uh, sexual in, 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 in nature. You know. So, I mean, it's not like they don't tell you, but, you know, as a kid, you're still just like, Yeah, I'll hit yes. I don't care. Three k gamers for an hour. 10k needed in three days. They're doing that challenge again? Does a 117 at the end of your name stand for Master Chief? Yeah. It used to be just an 11. Uh, it used to be just be I'm Kevin 11. But a lot of people were comparing that to the Ben 10, Kevin Levin dude. And I got really annoyed with it, so... Because I love Master Chief and Halo, I just decided to put that as my, my name. Oh, just for your gamer score total? Oh, wow. What? Didn't it say I reached the max level with this character? When you were eight, you wanted to play GTA 5 so bad. I mean, a lot of kids are different. When I was a kid, I would watch Austin Powers all the time. You know, I don't know if anyone knows what Austin Powers is in my chat because, like I said, most of y'all are probably kids who just lied about being 18 or over. Um, but Austin Powers, when I was watching that when I was a kid, very, very, very young, it's it's uh, not a movie for kids. Just there's a lot of sexual jokes, but for me because I, I I'm just a, a stu I'm, I was a slow kid. I was very slow. I never even understood that he was naked in the films. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you, Mike, for the gift and the sparks. I appreciate that, man. Oh yeah, but like um, you know, I just thought he was an idiot. I just thought it was a funny movie. I never paid attention to him swinging his dick around, cause I'm a boy. I have a dick. Or penis, peni, penis slums. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really paying attention to it. I'm just like, hey, that's funny. You know, I'm just, I have one too. I'm not going to care about my private junk on someone else, you know. So I just thought it was a funny movie that he was just an idiot. I didn't even know what shagadelic baby even meant. I was just like, that's very shagadelic as a kid. So, I mean, every kid's different. So I'm not going to say you probably shouldn't be playing GTA. Just because it incites violence or it promotes violence. I don't think it promotes it. I think it's more of, you know, 
something doesn't go your way, so you get frustrated, and then you slam your controller. You probably shouldn't be slamming your controller, but I understand you're frustrated. So when you get mad, you know, take a 10 minute break, 5 minutes, you know, get up, stretch, touch your toes, get water, and then come back to the game and have like a different attitude, like, alright, oh, let's try again. And if I fail, I'm gonna play a different game. You know? There's, there's no point to like, just sitting on the microphone. And, uh, just curse to other people online, like, Fucking noob, you suck! You ki you camper, you're killing me on the mic. You know, just... You don't need to do that. You just look like an idiot. You know? If you don't have a mic, and you're just sitting here by yourself where no one else can hear you, then yeah, I understand if you're just like... Fuck! Like, you're just kind of squeezing your controller and you're getting mad. Like, I understand that part. Like, that, I'm not, I'm not denying. Like, I do that too. But like I said, it's also a thing where you just gotta, like, relax, take a break, go stretch, go get, like, water, ice cream. Go get ice cream. If you're mad, reward yourself with a snack so you can calm down. You know? But, like, 12-year-olds on TikTok. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll lie and say that they're over 12. They're not 12, but there are 12. You know, like, the Jacob Sartorius kid, like, he's, he's like, what, 13 and he was popular? However, legally, yes, he was able to have his, uh, his account, because he was 13 or over, or whatever the rules are for TikTok. But, um, just a lot of, I don't like TikTok. I don't, I don't like, I don't like TikTok, I don't like Vine. I don't like any of those platforms, because kids are getting popular just for looking cute to other girls. And there's girls that are like in their 20s or 30s that'll still look at a 13 year old and be like, damn, he's cute. And then follow him and then promote his stuff. It's just so weird. It was glitching. What, the stream? Yeah, it does that. It does that. Yep. I really like this sweater. It's really nice. Also, I do want to clarify, this is actually a men's sweater. I don't care if it's a girl sweater. The thing is, it's really comfy and it keeps my neck warm because of this extra bit of uh, clothing. But I am wearing female pajama pants. Just because they're very soft and very fluffy. Men's pajama pants are very uncomfortable. It's just regular, just normal cotton. That's just, it's not gonna, doesn't feel warm or cool. You know? Like, I don't care if anyone's wearing girl clothing. Oh, Aaron, you don't say that. You don't say that to people. That's just rude. Yeah, I'm gonna see. I, yeah, I'm gonna leave because you suck, and I want to watch a different person. You just don't. You just you just leave, or you just say, "Have a great day, man. I'm I'm off," or just like see you later, or bye. You know, just you don't even have to say anything. Just leave. That just made me feel worse. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go watch someone better than you. Uh, later. Bye. I'm gonna go watch another stream now. Bye. You have a mic too. I'm just trying to give advice if there's. Since I'm already cursing and being an idiot. Okay, if something's ever frustrating, take a break. You know? Just, just take a break. I am a mic. Oh shit, Mike! <laughs> Mike with the funny. Mike doing the funny. Also, I have no idea what we're doing. I'm still following Cortana. She's doing whatever she wants to do. Okay. I'm so bad with aiming. He really was rude. I mean, it's... It's not a big deal, but it was just kind of like... You know, you don't say that. You know? You don't go to someone's chat and be like... There's there's two things you don't do when you're in someone's chat. The one thing is you don't just go in there and be like, Hey, follow my Mixer stream. I'm also a streamer on Twitch. Uh, you know, follow my Twitter. Uh, you, don't, you don't do that. That's self-promoting. You're an asshole. No one goes to your stream to do that to you. Why are you going to do that to other people? 
you know, have some respect. Um, and then the other thing is, you, you go to someone's chat, you're there for like... I mean, he was here for a pretty decent amount of time, so I don't blame him if he wants to watch someone else. But, you know, you don't go to someone's chat for like five minutes and then be like, Yeah, I'm gonna go watch a better person. I'm gonna go watch someone else now. Uh, bye, you suck. Like, eh. Okay, don't be mean to Aaron. I'm sure he didn't mean it like that. Can you find this boss gate? Yeah, it's over here. After I help you with this boss, though, I'm getting off. I, was, I wasn't even supposed to be online this long. Or actually, no, he's over here. Hold on. I haven't played these tunnels in a while. Give me a moment. Yeah, he's over here. Okay. So even though you're standing very far away, you can still shoot um, your flies all the way over there. Behind that moldy cheese. You don't gotta carry the flies with you this whole way. There's more flies up here. No, yeah. Don't, yeah, just don't, you don't need to call him an a-hole. Just kind of just be like, wow, you're rude. You know, just, that's it. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let her do it, actually. Come here, come down here, come down here. Here, shoot the, shoot the, shoot the, the door thing. But there's two different- oh, th so this is another thing I want to say. So, um... There's like two different things. So when I was getting mad at customer service, that's because I had to do with the product that I purchased. You know, Aaron, even though he was being a little rude, I'm not gonna really acknowledge it and be like, Wow, what an asshole! Fuck you, Aaron! I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna just hate someone to give more hate. You know, he wasn't really doing anything valuable with my time or my money. So, like, he doesn't really... Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't say fuck you, Aaron, or anything. Like, he wants to go watch someone better, that's fine. You know, but you, you just don't say it to someone. Like, um, I'm gonna go watch someone funnier. Like, you don't go to a comedy show, you know, where someone's doing stand-up comedy, uh, just to be in the audience like, Hey, comedian, yeah, over here in the very back seat, um, you're not funny, I'm gonna go watch someone else now. I'm, uh, y yeah. Bye! You know, you don't- you just walk out. If you don't think they're funny, you just walk out, or you go to the bathroom, or just... You don't say anything, you just- just leave. Or if you need to say, bye, I'm gonna, you know, do something else today, just like, alright, like, I'm gonna, Like, bye, like, have a good day, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something else, I'm gonna go... Watch... You know... What is it? The Disney Plus's Mandalorian? I mean, it's fine. It's just, it's just. I wouldn't say go. I wouldn't say call him an asshole or say anything rude to him. Just, you know, just be like that was a little rude. But all right, go ahead, go, go do something else you want to do. Ooh, she's almost here. And she's almost dead. And she's dead. Be the um, be the Snapdragon. Remember, you can like charge and fly over here. What we did with the water. Just do the snapdragon again. You know what? Let me just go through the gate. I'm forgetting. It'll just teleport us both in here. Actually, you know what? The boss gate. I think this is actually one of the coolest bosses in this game. So, I'll play this one. Oh, there you go. I mean, kind of too late now. You just... We're already at the gate. You can just open it. Oops. Alright, but yeah. Definitely after this, I'm gonna get off and eat. Just because when I'm frustrated, I get hungry. 
And right now I am starving. Yeah, that's what I feel like you should be doing more often. If you're ever pissed off with school or work or anything, just, just talk to someone. Just, just talk. Just let it out of your system. Because the more you hold it in, the more you're just going to hurt yourself. You know? It's like you're trying to bust a nut. <laughs> just let it out, man. Not that I would know from experience or anything. <laughs> Oh, I can't switch characters. Fuck. Never mind. Alright, here we go. You ready? Where'd you go? Cheese. We're talking about real life from the game. Cheese is good. What, do you not like pizza? What are you, a pizza hater? Although I will say Little Caesars pizza is the worst, even though it's hot and ready, based on the commercials. It's not good. The cheese tastes like plastic, and there's just way too much bread. Major problem, cheese to meet you. The game. Oh, the game. Yeah, it can get annoying. Alright, so this one, all you're really doing is just shooting his cheese balls on his head. Okay, why would you jump into the cheese? You just said you hated cheese and you jumped right into it? You nut. Hold on the left trigger, you can aim and shoot things. It's really fun. Yeah, Little Caesar's cheese is off. Little Caesar's pizza is terrible. Yeah, it's hot and ready, but it's never, it's never good. It's just tasty. It's like cardboard bread with plastic cheese on it. Like if I wanted to eat that amazing, beautiful recipe, I would have asked my nine-year-old niece to make me some imaginary food in her, like, Pretend doll playset. You know, where she has like plastic little plates and cups, and she's pretending to make you the most dank coffee you've ever tasted. I would have just done that. I don't need to legitimately buy it for five dollars. This boss is ugly! What do you mean? This boss is gorgeous! What do you mean? Nacho cheese is pretty good. Nacho cheese, that's a good one. Uh, lustrous. That's a good one. I like nacho cheese. Actually, this kind of does look like nacho cheese. It just needs, like, giant chips in it. This is like a cloudy with a chance of meatballs match. Okay, we gotta, we gotta start jumping on platforms. making me hungry. I hate you, I love Little Caesars. You need to see a doctor. Jamook. You were already trying to be a garbage person earlier. Why would I try to take you seriously? Are you up here? Where'd you go? Wait a minute, if you hate me, why are you still in here? Be gone with you, demon. 
keep falling, it sucks. I know, I see. It's alright though, it's funny to me. That's all that matters. Your pain and suffering is my entertainment. It's my nourishment. You're saying on you need to? What does that mean? Can I get like a stupid to English translator, please? I'm kidding. I don't. I honestly just. I, don't, I, don't, I like you. Aw, Jimu. How much do you like me? Enough to donate like 50 million embers. You just said you hated me! I'm confused. You're making no sense. Hold on, let me let me actually do like with the uh my stream title. Oh yeah, you missed an hour and 30 minutes of me complaining non-stop about EA. You you missed that. But I mean it's not wrong with the title. It's not wrong. Thank you though. You like me a lot, like a lot, lot. Do you like like me? Do, do you like like me? I remember doing that as a kid. <laughs> Where the, the girl would just be like, I like like, and I'm just like, oh. other bosses that other people would prefer, but for some reason I like this one a lot. I, don't, I just don't know why. I just do like him. I like like him. <laughs> nope, you're not gonna damage him. Just jump up rocks. Damn it, now I want some nacho cheese. Hey, what's up, baby mama? Hey, yo. Hey, what's up, dude? Welcome back. It's been a long, long time. Got to use my frame. I'm not even gonna try to sing that. It's too high pitched. I don't know how people sing such high pitched songs like that. Like, you gotta really twist your own nuts just to reach that. <laughs> like, that, that note. It's been a long day. You know, like. <laughs> Michael Jackson, twist your balls, feel that pain. I can't do those notes. Ah, chase that! Danny, Danny! That's a call, I appreciate that, man. Don't twist your balls, though. J just to sing a song, don't do that. The Gaming Fruit, thanks for the follow, I appreciate that, man. I don't know how I'm getting so many follows complaining about fucking EA and then talking about twisting your own nutsack. Did I just get grilled? Oh, yes I did. Hey, screw you, am I right? <laughs> Even though it's not a screw, it's a, it's a drill, but you know. It's, it's, it's funny, just laugh. If you don't laugh, then you hate children. 
You know what? That's fair. I didn't laugh either, so therefore I hate children. Oh yeah, once you step on the platform, they sink down, so you just kind of have to be quick. Or you can just do that. That's fine, too. No, don't follow me. I just realized what you're doing. Stay on your own platform. Split up. Thank you, Danny Danny, for the taco. I like tacos. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, he's aiming at me so you can start shooting his little um, thing. Oh, there's cheese imps in the light bulb. I didn't even see that until now. There's like little cheese imps. You see that? I've never noticed that. There's like little miners. Never noticed that. That's interesting. The irony of talking so much shit about a specific game, and yet this, the game that I'm talking shit about is what's giving me the most views and follows at the moment. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should just keep doing. Just keep spending twenty dollars, have something to complain about, and then just get those views. Am I right, fellow gamers? Ow! Ow! Well, that hurt. Jeez! Yeah, there's a lot of cheese. I'm actually getting really hungry, so either way, after this, I'm ending it. I mean, Cortana, if you still want to play, we can play, but I'm ending it after this part. So, I, I like this boss, even though I don't know why. I like the boss. Pretty good. Oh, he's over there now. I like how this whole time he's been shooting me. Oh, never mind. He shot you a couple times. There we go. Still gotta keep shooting? Nope, he's dead. Okay. Or it. It's not really he, it's a giant robot. I'm getting too many prize balls. I'm not going to be able to redeem any of this until next year. And they don't stack or anything, so you're just kind of stuck with them. There we go. I still just want to avoid Twitter. Like usually when I'm when I'm when there's loading screens or I'm bored. Do you play Borderlands 3? No, I want to though. I love 2K games. Because they don't screw you out of your money. No, but I really want to play Borderlands 3. I have I have the other Borderlands on my console at the moment. Um let me see. Yeah, the pre-sequel, Borderlands 2, Game of the Year, the regular Borderlands from the 360. I still have those that I need to do. Or, I played them a shit ton as a kid, but to, to get some achievements and clean them up and 100% the games, I still need to do them. I still need to do them. But, um, no, I don't have Borderlands 3. I would like to get it, but I don't have it. Um, but that's, that, that's something I'll just wait on. You do? Good for you, Jamook! <laughs> ja asshole? I'm kidding. Um, no, yeah, it's a, it's a good game. I, I want to get it. Thank you. Finally, all these silly side quests are done. Nice, that's good. I'm glad I could help Cortana. Um, but yeah, I do have the Borderlands. I've just been waiting for a dedicated day to like stream them or play them all. Uh, like an entire month dedicated to nothing but Borderlands. 
Um, but that should probably be really soon, actually, just because um, I'm going back to school next year. So I might have more time. Um, uh, my boss is giving me a break from work so I can focus on only school. So that'll give me more time in the mornings to stream and in the afternoons to do my homework. So, you know, uh, maybe maybe soon we'll have some Borderlands gameplay and stuff like that. But uh, for right now, I'm done. This, I promise, is the last time I'm playing for the rest of the year. How many light bulbs do I have? I have 46 out of 50. I can't redeem any of those uh, light bulbs until next year when the the game resets or there's a new event or something going on. So you play Borderlands too? I play all the Borderlands. I love Borderlands. They're so good. I still don't know why people hated the pre sequel. I don't know why. I thought it was it's just the same thing as any other Borderlands. It's it's still really fun and really cool and really stupid. Like that's like I don't know what was different about it other than it was in space. But yeah, anyway, 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 uh, let me see if my friend's online, so I can host him. I was gonna play Untitled Goose Game, but like I said, I'm tired. I've complained too much, I'm exhausted, I just wanna, I just wanna, uh, fucking, just relax and watch a movie or something. Um, well, Stallion is not online, but there's someone even better than Stallion, I'm kidding. He's just as good. His name's Troy HD. Um, be nice. He's a good man. Doesn't deserve trolls. Doesn't deserve assholes. Uh, you can cuss in his channel, but just, you know. He's a cool guy. He's really nice. Just just, just say hello. His name's Troy. Um, but thanks for stopping by. Thanks for listening to me complain. It made me feel better, even though that didn't really help us, you know, the situation at all. Thank you, Mike. It's been a good decade. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> All right, Mike. I, I will see you next year, buddy. Next year. I mean, I'll, I'll still be on, like, playing games next week and stuff, but... Just right now, I, I was gonna play Untitled Goose Game, but I'm just, I'm just exhausted. I'm probably just gonna stream it tomorrow or something, I don't know. But I'm exhausted, I just wanna relax. But yeah, I'll see y'all later.